into Okay guys, so good day sa inyo. So gagawin ko lang ng correction yung video tutorial para do sa topic na resultant. So nagkaroon tayo ng error do sa pagpaplat ng force Q and force F. So na misplace ko itong uh, Y and Z coordinate. So nagkapalit ko yung dalawa. But then again, the solution is correct since yung uh, tabulation solution yung ginawa natin. So, hindi naman natin ginamit yung figure. But anyway, so, andito ako para i-correct yung ating mali. So, pa uh, paano mo siya i-plot-plot? So, again, we have a problem. So, we need to determine the resultant of the system of concurrent forces. So, when we say concurrent, they meet at one point. Having the following magnitude and passing through the origin. So, lahat ng forces na yun will pass through the origin dito sa point O kung saan nag-intersect yung ating mga axis. So, dito meron kang z-axis, x-axis, and the uh, y-axis. Okay, so anything na punta dito sa taas that is positive, papunta dito sa point na to, this is a positive z-axis, and lahat ng papuntang force dito will be positive x. So, paano ba natin siya i-plot that? Okay, so let's start with the force Q. So, we have 200 pound, so with the coordinates of 4, 3, 5. So the first coordinate that represents the x coordinate then yung pangalawa that will be the y and the last one that will be the z coordinate so paano ba natin siya i-plot that so ang gawin natin ang una natin consider is yung x and yung z so we have 4 passing along dito sa positive x axis so what i ano na natin so 1 2 3 4 okay and then on the z-axis, you have 5. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so, ito, gawin lang natin siyang parallel dun sa x natin. Okay, so, dapat pantay lang silang dalawa. And yung z, ganun lang din yung gawin mo. So, dun sa point kung saan sila mag intersect dun natin i-plot-plot yung y. So, ano ba sabi kay y? So, siya daw ay positive 3. So, tataas ka lang dito ng 3. And let's say na nandito yung 3. So, again, ano nga ito? So, this is 4. This one is 5. And ito ay 3. So, i-connect mo lang. So, this will be your force T. So, sulat natin yun dito yung coordinate ng 4, 3, 5. Okay, next will be for the force Q. So, with a magnitude of 400 pound acting at the coordinates of 6, negative 3, and negative 5. So, ganun lang din yung gagawin natin. So, ano nga dito? So, do sa, sa X, you have positive 6. So, ano nga ito? Ano na 4? Tagdagal lang natin ng dalawa. 5, 6. Next, para dun sa ating Z coordinate. So, since negative yan, so papunta siya dito sa kabilang side. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so again, ganun lang ulit. Gawa ka ng parallel line. Dapat magkasing haba lang sila dito. And then, kung saan sila magko-coincide, dun natin i-plot-plot yung ating Y coordinate. So, ano nga ulit ito guys? So, this is negative 5. So, isulat na natin 5. So, and then this one, this will be 6. And ano sabi doon sa iyong Y? So, negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, coming from this point, bababa ka ng 3. So, sabihin natin ito yung 3. Okay. So, ayan. So, this will be our point or the direction of your force Q. Connect mo lang. So, now this is Q and the coordinate of this point is 6, negative 3, and then negative 5. 
Okay, last will be for the force F. So, paano ba siya pala plat? So, sabi negative 3, positive 6, and negative 4. So, negative 3 yan. So, ibig sabihin, dito tayo sa abilang side ng iyong x-axis. So, let's say na ito yung 3. Ayan. And then, ano sabi doon sa iyong uh, z? So, that is negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, andito lang siya. Okay. So, again, gawa lang tayo ng uh, parallel line. And then, kung saan mag i yung dalawa, doon tayo mag plot, -plot ng z. Ah, ng y. Coordinate. So, again, this is negative 3. So, this is also 3. And then, ito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 4. Okay, so, sabi dyan, positive 6. So, taas ka lang ng 6. Let's say na ito yung 6. Okay, so dito sa point na to, so dyan natin i-plapat yung iyong force F. So connect mo lang, coming from the origin. And so this is your force F. So again, latag lang natin yung coordinates. So negative 3, 6, and negative 4. Okay, so ito naman, yung uh, una naman nating figure or yung figure na mga iita nyo sa sunod na solution, i-disregard nyo na lang yun. Ito yung gagamitin natin. But then again, this figure will not affect your solution. Kasi ang ginawa natin, solution sa susunod is using the tabular method. So gumamit lang tayo ng table, i-plinat lang natin yung table. Uh, ayun. Okay, so ang gawin natin, gawa tayo ng table. So, dito sa first column, ilalagay ko dito yung force. So, yung value ng forces natin. Next will be the coordinates. So, lagay ko dito. This is X. This is Y. And this is Z. So, ang sunod na column, ilalagay ko yung distance D. O, ito yung space diagonal niya. Ano? So, nang formula natin for D. So, D is equals to square root lang ng x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then, dun sa sunod na column, so dun natin ilalagay yung mga component of forces. Okay, so lagay natin dito. So ito yung para kay X, ito yung para kay Y, and then ito yung para kay Z. So, ayun natin dito. Okay, so we have here uh, force P. So, anong value niya? 200 pound. And we have Q. 400 pound. F. It's supposed to 300 pound. Then yung X. 4. 6. Negative 3. And then, we have 3. Negative 3. Positive 6. Then 5, negative 5, negative 4. Okay, so isolve natin yung mga value ng kanyang D. So, pindutin lang natin, 4 squared. Gawin pala natin, calculate natin. Gawa tayo na equation. So, calcute technique. Ay, alpha squared plus B squared plus C squared. So, ganyan yung magiging tura ng equation natin. And then, nagawin mo, calc. So, ang mangyayari, hanapan ka ng value ng A. So, ang value ng A mo, so, ito yung mga X. And then, for B, ito yung mga Y. And then, for Z, yung para kay C. So, anong value ng ating X dito? So, di ba 4? And then, yung B, ano daw yung value ng B? Gawin natin P. 
and then uh, z of c that will be 5 so equals mo lang so ang mangyayari dito that is 5 square root of 2 so ganyan para hindi ka pindot ng pindot again if tapos ka dito doon naman para sa cube pagkuha ng distance nung, o yung space diagonal ng coordinate ng cube so calc mo lang ulit so 6 negative 3 negative 5 so that is square root of 70 then again calc para naman doon sa f so negative 3 6 and negative 4 So, square root of 61. Di ba mas madali? Calc ka lang ng calc. Hindi ka na type ng type sa calc. Okay, so meron na tayong value ng iyong mga D. So, ano sunod natin gagawin? Hanapin naman natin yung component. Eh. So, paano nga makukuha itong mga component? So, di ba doon sa sinabi nga doon sa ano? Yung uh, distances mo is directly proportional doon sa mga force. So, doon nakabuo tayo ng equation na yung F over the space diagonal so that is equals lang to sa the X component of that force all over the distance X is equals to Fy all over Y so that is equals to Fz all over the distance C okay so dito pwede rin natin gawin siya ng equation ano so, paikutin lang natin. So, yung fx mo, the equation will be f times the distance x all over d. And then, para kay fy, o yung force y mo, so that is f times the distance y over, ah, sorry. F. Tama. f times y over d. It's so, tama. And then, para sa z, so that is f times the distance z all over d. So, gawin lang natin. So, ito ang gagawin ko, yung mga forces mo, that will be so, sa ating uh, calcule, papangalan ko siya as a. And then, yung mga distance mo, yung x, that will be c, b. And yung ilalim, so siya yung magiging c. So, ganun lang din dito. So, ito yung a, ito yung b, ito yung c. Ito yung a, ito yung B, ito yung C. So, gawa natin ang equation. So, alpha times beta divided by C. Ayan na. So, yun lang din yan. Ginawa ko lang siya ng equation. Considering this equation na nagawa natin. So, inayin natin yung mga forces X. Ano? So, ano nga yung A? So, that represent the force. So, ano yung force natin? So, 200. So, calc. So, 200. So, times B. So, equals mo, ah. Equals. Ano daw yung B? So, ang B mo yung mga distance X. So, we have 4. So, 4. And then, yung C. So, that is the distance. O, yung space diagonal niya. So, 5. Square root of 2. So, equals mo lang ulit. So, ito daw is equal sa 80 square root of 2. Okay, so kalo ka lang ulit, para namang ay force Q. So, ano yung force mo? 400. So, yung B is 6. And then, yung C is the space diagonal. Square root of, se square root of, square root of 7. So, wala siyang simplified force. So, this is 286. 0.8549. Then calc, para naman kay force F, so that is 300, so times negative 3, and then square root of 61. So this is negative 115.2332. Okay, next, para naman do sa Y. So ganun lang ulit, so calculate. So ang gawin ko, since ito lang din naman siya, so di ba ang ginawa ko, ito yung una. Ito yung pangalwa. Ito yung pangatlo. Ang gagawin ko, dito naman ako magsisimula. Para hindi ko nababaguhin yung value ng A at saka yung value ng C. Ang papalitan ko na lang yung B. So, magiging 6 na lang siya. Kasi nandito na tayo sa Y. 
300 Ay, hindi rin pala Iba pala itong palit yun ito <laughs> Type na lang ulit natin So, 300 Dito ako magsimula ha? And then, yung Y natin is 6 And then, square root of 61 So, ito ay 230.4664 Sunod for for skew so 400 so negative 3 then square oh sorry so ang d is square root of 70 so this is negative 143 oh wala talaga natin to 0.42 7, 4 And then sunod For 4sp, so 200 Times 3 Plus 5 square root of 2 So this is 60 square root of 2 So sunod yung parang kay Z naman Yung Z Yung forces Z So ganun lang ulit So let's start with P So 200 times the distance 5 So, 5 square root of 2. So, this is 141. 0.4214. And para IQ, so that is 400. Yung B mo is negative 5. And then, square root of 7. So, negative 239.0457. And then, 300. So, negative 4 Then, square root of 6 Okay So, negative 153.6443 Okay, so I think we're done So, ang sunod natin gagawin We will just take the summation of all these forces So, ang summation na yan So, this will be your summation ng x Dito, coming from this equation So, yan lahat yung forces ng x dito, ito yung summation ng y and then ito will be summation of z okay doon na nga lang so 80 square root of 2 plus 286.8549 plus negative 115.2332 so ito is 284.78 7588 And then yung y So 60 square root of 2 Plus negative 140.4274 Plus 230.4664 So this is positive 171.8918 And then para ay z So 141.4214 Minus 239.0457 Minus 153.6443 So that is Negative 251.2686 Okay So meron na tayo mga Summation X, Y, and Z So I think we can now solve for the value of R So R mo That is just square root Nung mga nakuha natin ito So square root of 284.7588 Squared Plus 171.8918 squared Then plus Negative 251.2686 squared So what is the value of your R? So 284.758 squared Plus 171.8918 squared So 251.2686 So that is 416 0.8576 Okay, so this is your answer So next, hanapin na rin natin yung mga value ng kanyang angle o yung angle of inclination with respect to the respective axis Okay, so nahin natin yung theta x So cosine of theta x is equals to summation of x 284.7588 over 416.8576 So 
So that is our cosine of 284.758 over 416.8576. So this is 46.913 degrees. Then yung y, so diretso na natin na r cosine of 171.8918. Number 416.8576. So that is 65.6474. And then yung theta z. So ang gawin na lang natin, take the absolute value. So, since negative to, ang malalaman lang natin. So, dapat sa paabila siya. Ano? So, 2, 5, 1. Okay. So, this is our cosine of 251.2686 over 416.8576. So, theta z is 52.9316. Okay, so, ito yung magiging sagot. So, this is your final answers. Okay? So, next topic natin is yung pagkuha ng moment naman.